Hello and welcome back to the Hourglass Watch channel. Thank you for tuning in. In today's watch review, I'm going to be showcasing the Tudor Black Bay Chrono in the reverse panda configuration. So um, you've probably already seen the AD collection video that I uploaded recently, but in this video, I'm going to be sharing the watch and also the journey in getting this particular piece. So let's open it up then. So first of all, you have the standard white sleeve for Tudor watches. And you've got the black box that comes with all Tudors. Here she is. Now, I got this watch from the dealership in the southeast of England, in close to Essex, from Emson Hague. And initially, I made contact with them a few months ago. And it was just to have a general chat about a different Tudor, actually. And then talking to Adam, who's the... Uh, who's a Tudor specialist at the uh, the showroom he informed me that it would be possible to get one of these for me as they sell a lot of Tudors here so then I had a little think about it and decided that yeah I'd go ahead so I I paid an initial 50% of the retail price for this piece and then Adam uh, was able to order it in for me. All in all, it took me four months, maybe just under, from the day of the initial conversation with Adam to getting the piece. So if you're considering getting a Black Bay Chrono, definitely Check out Adam from Emson Hague, as well as some of his colleagues, uh, Cynthia or Louise, and I'm sure they'll look after you. So underneath the watch, as always, you get the Tudor warranty card and manual. And here you can see it's a very recent purchase. And like I've just said, it took a little over three months, just under four months to get the piece. Now, that is not the case with the white chrono, with the white dial. With the white dial, I believe it's, an, uh, even at Emson Haig, even talking to Adam and his colleagues, the, the wait is well over a year at the moment. But I'm actually glad I've gone for the reverse panda. Because, in my opinion, it just looks really nice. I'll do a wrist shot at the end. So, put, pop that away. Yeah, the screw down 
pushes here. So you unscrew that. Unscrew that here. Chances are, if you're watching this video and you're interested in getting the Chrono, you've probably heard a lot of people talk about the movement and how it's a collaboration with Brightlink. So I'm not really going to talk about that. Instead, this video, this review is to just showcase the watch, to share my experience with how I got it, and hopefully if you're really looking to get this piece and you want it um, soon i definitely think you should contact emson haig in romford and they'll be able to get you this piece he has a 41 millimeter case. The bezel, the black bezel, is a stainless steel bezel. The good thing here is that with the Tudor chronograph, you have the date at 6 o'clock, which is nice. It would have been great if they had the the extension, the T fit, but unfortunately that doesn't have it. So you just gotta get it sized up to your wrist. Now I have a fairly small wrist. My wrist is only six and a half inches. So it's not the biggest wrist, but I think you'll see later it looks fine. So here it is for a wrist roll. I had four links removed to fit my six and a half inch wrist and I think it's fine. I've, I've worn 42 millimeter diameter watches before so I think this is okay and it's a lot of people say Tudor watches are thick but I don't find that to be the case. I think it's absolutely fine. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and like the video. Until the next one.